Instant Pot French Toast Casserole features a maple custard and a light vanilla glaze and is perfect for a brunch or a holiday breakfast. Hi mindful moms and dads, Kristen here. As someone who suffers from a chronic disease, I believe homemade is best, but it doesn't need to be complicated. Today, I'm gonna share with you a request that you guys made for me. You wanted me to take my overnight French toast casserole and make it Instant Pot friendly. Well, good news. I've had success, and you guys are gonna love this breakfast. It makes a delicious casserole to prep the night before, and then use your Instant Pot to cook quickly, and everybody can sit down and enjoy a delightful, rich French toast casserole. Really, who doesn't love French toast casserole? So let's put on our kitchen capes and make Instant Pot French toast casserole. Now the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have a seven by four inch cake pan because we need to cook our French toast casserole pot in pot. I have a dried out baguette here that I'm cubing up. You want about eight cups of bread cubes. You could use brioche bread, you could use raisin bread, you could use whole wheat bread, you could use French bread, you could use any bread that you like. And then if your bread is not already dried out, you wanna spread it onto a sheet pan and then just pop it in a 300 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes. We really want our bread to be nice and dried up so that it can absorb our rich custard. For our custard, I have six eggs in a large mixing bowl, and to that, I'm adding one and a half cups of half and half. You could use whole milk, you could use almond milk, you could use heavy cream, whatever you have on hand. To sweeten, I'm adding in a fourth a cup of maple syrup. I really love the richness of the maple in a French toast casserole. I mean, come on, what goes better with French toast than maple syrup? I'm adding in two teaspoons of cinnamon. I'm gonna grate some whole nutmeg using a microplane grater right over my custard. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, which really brings out the sweetness in the casserole. And then just give everything a nice whisk, breaking up those eggs and making sure that the cinnamon and nutmeg are nice and combined into the custard. I'm gonna add my dried bread now and then just give that a toss just to incorporate. I'm gonna grab my cake pan here and I'm going to use about a tablespoon of butter here and just evenly rub it all over the sides of the cake pan. It's gonna give the French toast casserole a nice buttery finish and it's also gonna help prevent it from sticking to the pan. I'm gonna pour my bread and custard mixture into the pan. I'm gonna cover it with plastic wrap. At this point, we wanna pop our French toast casserole into the refrigerator overnight or for up to 18 hours. That's gonna give the bread time to absorb all that custard. Plus, anytime you can make breakfast the night before makes entertaining at breakfast time or brunch time or for the holidays that much easier. Now in the morning, we're ready to remove our French toast casserole from the refrigerator, remove the plastic wrap, and then we wanna cover it with foil, which will prevent the condensation from getting into our French toast casserole and making it really soggy. We wanna add in one and a half cups of cold tap water to our inner pot. Wanna place in our rack, and then we wanna place our cake pan into our Instant Pot. Pop the lid on our Instant Pot. Make sure our vent knob is pointed towards sealed, and then to set cooking time. We wanna cook for 35 minutes on high pressure. While our Instant Pot is cooking up our French toast casserole, I'm gonna make a powdered sugar glaze to drizzle over the top. This is totally optional. You can serve your casserole with just berries and maple syrup if you like, but I really love this nice sweet vanilla glaze. For the glaze, I'm whisking together just two tablespoons of milk with one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm adding in one cup of powdered sugar. You wanna make sure that you use sifted powdered sugar so that there's no lumps in your glaze. Give that a good whisk and just set that aside. Once the cooking time has elapsed on our Instant Pot, this is one recipe you can do a quick release of pressure if you want, or you can let pressure release on its own. To do a quick release of pressure, you would use a long wooden spoon or spatula and knock your sealing knob from the sealed to venting position. And make sure you stand back so that you don't get burned by that steam. Open up our Instant Pot. We can remove our casserole here. You wanna uncover the foil, and at this point, we can enjoy our French toast casserole. If you like the top 
to be brown and crispy, you can certainly broil it for a couple minutes. That's totally not necessary. It's just based on how you like your French toast casserole. Dish it up, serve it with some of that glaze. All right, I'm digging in, I can't wait. This is one of my all time favorite breakfasts and I love that I was able to make this for the Instant Pot as it makes it just a little bit easier to make and it's the perfect recipe to make if you're traveling and don't have access to an oven but you have your Instant Pot with you. Mm. The maple knocks it out of the park. So much better than using granulated or brown sugar because the rich maple flavor really gives this French toast casserole a French toast feeling to it. And the cinnamon and nutmeg, mm, it's just delicious. This French toast casserole makes a perfect breakfast, but in my next video, I'm gonna share with you three egg recipes that are also home runs in the breakfast department. Until then, happy cooking.